Hello everyone, so we will continue our data engineer interview preparation parts. So in this particular video, we have a couple of Python questions that actually we are going to solve. My first question is around the Fibonacci number. Second question is around the natural number and third question is around the Armstrong number. So let's try to understand one by one. So first question is like write a Python program for the nth Fibonacci number. What is a Fibonacci number? The series of number where each number is the sum of the two preceding number. For example, 0, 1, 1, 2, 3, 5, 8, these are the examples of the Fibonacci number. If I show you how actually it, it looks like, it is the preceding of the other two numbers. For taking example, it is starting with a 0, it is starting with a 0 and then 1. What is the sum of the 0 and 1? 1. What is the sum of 1 and 1? 2. What is the sum of the 1 and 2? 3. What is the sum of the 2 and 3? 5. What is the sum of the 3 and 5? 8. 5 plus 8? 13. So this is the Fibonacci series. It is a preceding of, it is the sum of the preceding of the two numbers. Like that actually it works. Now my question is like I had to find out the, what is the fifth Fibonacci number. Then in, in this case I should get an output, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 3 is the Fibonacci number, right? Fifth Fibonacci number, so I should get output as a 3. If anyone is saying what is the seventh Fibonacci number, so seventh Fibonacci number is a eighth, right? So that is the output we want. So that is a question. So let's try to solve, let's try to write a code for that. So what I will do, I will define one function. Function name as a fib. You can give any name. I will pass a parameter n. What I will do? I will write one condition if n equal equal to the 1 then return 0 l if n equal equal to 2 then return 1 else return fib n minus 1 plus fib n minus 2 n minus so this is how actually I am calculated. So what actually I am writing? I am writing if n equal to the 1 then return 0. So, so if you will see what is the first Fibonacci number? First Fibonacci number is a 0 right? So what I have written if n equal to the 1 then return 0. What is the second Fibonacci number? Second Fibonacci number is this right 1. Then what I am writing if n equal to the 2 then return 1. Else fib n minus 1, fib n minus 2. What is uh, this mean fib n minus 1 and fib n minus 2? Let's understand. So I have written fib n minus 1 plus fib n minus 2. Now suppose anyone has given to find out the third Fibonacci number. So n equal to the n equal to the third. Let's put here. So here if I will put n equal to the third, 3 minus 1, I will get fib 2 and fib 3 minus 2 1 so this is the output i will get when I, n equal to the 3 right now what is the second fibonacci number so uh, we have written if n equal to the 2 then return 1 so this will become 1 and if n equal to the 1 then return 0 fib 1 means 0 so what is the third fibonacci number i will get output as a 1 so that is the code we have written now let's try to check this if i write what is the fifth fibonacci number Fifth Fibonacci number is the 3. If I will show you 0, this is the first, second, third, fourth, fifth, fifth Fibonacci number is the 3. Similarly, if I will write 6, what is the 6? Six? 6 is the fifth, right? 6 is the fifth, so fifth I am getting output. So like that we have to write a code. I hope you got the idea. Now our next question is like, write a Python program for sum of square of the first and natural number. So what is natural number? So natural number is a positive number we can say right. So you can see 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. These are the natural number we have. Now our question is like write a python program for sum of square of the first n natural number. So suppose anyone is giving you n as a 4. Then what you have to write what is the 4 natural number 1, 2, 3 and 4 right. So we have to find out the square of this number 1 square, 2 square, 3 square, 4 square. What will be the output? 1 plus 4 plus 9 plus 16. I will get the output as a 30. So this is the question it is asking to, to solve this. So what I will write? I will create one function. Natural something I will give the name. Parameter I will pass n. 
now what we will do we will define as a sum as a 0 and what we will write for i in range 1 to n plus 1 and what we will do sum plus equal to the i into i i into i then we will return a sum now if i will do uh, if anyone is asking what is the sum of the first four and natural number if i'll execute this you can see 30 so 1 plus 4 plus 9 plus 16 is 30 right what is the first three natural numbers square 1 square plus 2 square plus 3 square 9 plus 4 plus 1 how many 14 right so 14 i'm getting so like that actually we have to write i hope you got the idea now the third question is like write a python program for the armstrong number to check whether the given number is a armstrong or not what is a armstrong number it is a number that is equal to the sum of its digit for taking example suppose we'll take example of the 153 153 so suppose i had to find, check whether this 153 is a armstrong number or not so what actually first we have to check how many digits are there we have a three digit right so that is the first thing we have to check now after that what we have to do we have to do each digit you can see one one because three digit we have one cube plus five cube plus three cube if i'll do this should be equal to the 153 if it is a uh, equal to the 153 then it is a armstrong number so that is the thing we have to check suppose anyone you have to find out for the 15 now how many digits are there two digits so one square plus five square is equal to the 15 then it is a armstrong number if it is not then it is not a armstrong number so that is the thing we have to write a code for that so let me define one function name as a arm i'll give as a n armstrong n uh, let me define few variables some zero and the I, what actually i'm doing i'm defining one variable temp and i'm storing this uh, natural number here and what actually i'm doing i'm trying to find out the length also a length also like how many length of the input we have so what actually i'm doing length str n this we are doing now after that what i will do i'll write one condition while loop while temp is greater than zero zero now let's see what what is the thing we are going to do suppose uh, 153 we have suppose 153 we have now first we have to find out how many digits we have here right so what actually we have written with the help of the length we'll get how many digits we have so we have a total three digits right here we have a total three digits now one by one this digit we want like uh, we have a three digits we got to know right now what we have to do because three digit we have each digit we have to cube it cube it like this one q five q three q because three digits we have so this is the thing we have to find out so let's uh, one by one how actually uh, we can uh, find out and so for that i'll write a code digit temp modulus 10 i will do i will get the last digit after that i will try to sum this in a in a sum i am doing a plus digit into length length and after that what is the next one i will write temp equal to the this is one now if i will check if temp is if n equal equal to the sum if it is equal then print arm it is armstrong number else print not not armstrong so this is the code we are writing uh, so let me try to check 153 whether 153 is armstrong or not it is armstrong number so let's see what is the output we are getting it's a temp i am spelling mistake you can see 153 is a armstrong number if i'll check for the 15 it is not an armstrong number right so i'm getting outputs and not so i hope you got the idea please do try to practice so that you'll get better idea